The beginning of this week marked the end of Huawei's second 90-day reprieve from the US ban. I had marked the date on my calendar previously and was interested to hear if the United States would implement the ban or grant another extension. On Monday, the US announced that it will be posting the implement implementation of the ban for another 90 days. On the 15th of May this year, President Trump signed an executive order banning US companies from doing business with Huawei and its subsidiaries. A 90-day reprieve was later granted to allow for a smooth transition. A second 90-day extension was given in August and now a third. I want to get my first Android phone. I'm looking for a good phone. In the low sub 5000 price range. And obviously Huawei makes great phones in that price range. Well, they make great phones all around. The US government is concerned about Huawei's strong links with the Chinese government. Add to that Huawei's imminent release of 5G and the Chinese government could potentially be in a very powerful position if these fears are accurate. The nine month extension has been granted to give small tech companies in the rural areas in America some time to find alternative network equipment. Huawei and ZTE offer inexpensive and reliable equipment that will be costly to replace. By forcing US companies to stop doing business with Huawei, the US government effectively deals with the alleged Huawei security threat. Huawei has denied these allegations. President Trump has alluded that the Huawei ban may be a bargaining chip in the trade war with China. The ban, if implemented, will affect Huawei sales globally due to its dependence on Google's Android, Microsoft's Windows, and Qualcomm and Intel's chips. Huawei have however been working on their own operating systems for years now, since the US intelligence gave a report in 2012 stating that Huawei and ZTE are national security threats. This is good news for Huawei customers as a dependence on Android could mean that their phones will have the outdated software and this could make these devices vulnerable to breaches. Most Android phones have a skin OS running on top of the stock Android and in China users already do not have access to the Google Play Store. The hard part for Huawei will be to market their phones elsewhere in the world using something other than Android. The answer could be modeling the operating system based on the open source Android which will not be affected by the ban. Huawei still has a huge following around the world and amidst the turmoil the company has faced this year, their sales have still grown. Huawei is the second most popular smartphone maker in the world after Samsung and this trend is the same in South Africa. The Huawei brand is immensely popular here. I just got my first Huawei device this month, an LTE wireless router. In my search for my first Android phone, Huawei has come up continuously with very tempting offers. I want an Android phone though, and this means overlooking Huawei for a while. This may just be the perfect time to get a phone made in South Africa. Though change can be disruptive, it usually almost always comes with new opportunities for those willing to look for it. Huawei announced at the Africa Tech event that it will be offering a new developer community. Check this out. This means a unique opportunity for Africans to make apps that are Afrocentric and put it on this new app store.